Okay, Neil, great win tonight, really. Um, tough side to beat Barwell. Not as pretty as Saturday's uh, performance, but worked hard at it and eventually got the result. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was ever going to be as, as pretty and as nice as uh, Saturday's game against the Ives. If anything, that was a hindrance to us tonight because the tempo of Saturday's game was obviously really slow in terms of we never really got pressed when we had the ball. And I just knew tonight that Barwell would come out the blocks at us. They're a, they're a, they're a real good side. They've got legs, they've got energy and pace about them in wide areas and fullback areas. And, you know, two strikers are a real handful. And we never got to grips with them tonight. Especially, well, first half, we never got to grips with them. And they smothered us. They were all over us. We couldn't get near them. And pace-wise, it caused us problems. They moved the ball quickly. And causes no end of problems, and but for a couple of saves from Adam, we could have found ourselves you know, behind at half time. Um, regrouped a little bit at half time, and we were we were we were better second half. Um, passed the ball a lot quicker, got the, uh, the front two away a lot quicker, and made better decisions, which got us the opportunities. Um, to try and win the game, obviously it comes from a, a corner, but I thought we had more opportunities second half to. To, uh, to add to the scoreline. So, so all in all, really pleased with the result. Um, we've played better and lost, um, but it's a good three points. What I must say is that in terms of defensive qualities, which are part of the game, um, we were excellent again tonight, both first and second half. First half when we were under the cash, and second half when we've got a little bit more of the ball and you know, trying to put the game to bed. I thought defensively we looked rock solid, and that's a massive part of the game. So in terms of attacking-wise, you know, and that movement of the ball in the final third, we can be better. But defensively, I'm really, really pleased. Yeah, I thought the uh, the final ball, first half, as you say in particular, was uh, the quality of that wasn't at its best. No. But in defence, yeah, we've got, I've got to agree. We didn't really let them have no. too many opportunities. Adam made a stunning save yeah, did, early yeah. on, yeah. Um, which I think sort of was was probably the crucial part of the game because had they have scored that we would have found it very tough to, to yeah, get back in it. Definitely, well he's, that's what he's there to do, he's yeah. part of that, that back line and he, he has to make saves, he's made a couple of really good ones tonight and we were rock solid throughout defensively. Um, but you're right in terms of the first half, we gave the ball away cheaply, we never got to grips with their intensity um, and like I say they smothered us and every time we got good possession there was, a, there was three or four red shirts around our, our, our players getting the ball back. Um, and I was happy to get in at 0-0 at half time. But second half, you know, we were a lot better and moved the ball quicker and held on to it a little bit better in forward areas and moved it a bit quicker. And, and in the end, I think, you know, based on our second half performance, um, you know, I'm ple pleased, pleased with the point. Barwell can feel a little bit of um, you know, our done by. But, uh, you know, as I say, it's all about scoring the goals. Well, it's, it's and, what it's about. It's, and, about. it's about winning. And you say the, de the defence is part of the game, and, well, it, and it was a defender that went and scored the goal for us. There you go. <laughs> and, and, you know, you'll have games when you're not brilliant going that way. We scored six Saturday, albeit against not as good a side as Barwell. Um, but tonight there was defensive uh, qualities required throughout, front to back, and we, we've had that, and we've dug in, showed some spirit and some desire not to get beat, another clean sheet. And you know, we, we weren't at the races in terms of going forward and creating lots of opportunities and killing the game off. But in terms of getting a result defensively, we were, we were top, top draw. Um, but it's all about winning. It's about making sure that you, you get three points by hook or by crook, get three points. And we've done that. And close the gap on Barwell now, so we're just moving up, you know, up that table, which is going to be important. You know, to, if we're going to make a push for the playoffs, we've got to start gaining the. Yeah, well, it's too. Uh, you know, we're not, we're not going to stand here and start talking about playoffs. It's too. I think it's too. Well, you don't want to be stranded. No, no, you don't want to get lose, lose to the touch, bottom. Do you? No, you don't. You're right. Yeah, we've, we've got, got games in hand, but you've got to, you've got to pick the points up off of those. Yeah, we've got, we've got significant games in hand on, I think, everybody in the division. Um, but they're only good to you if you win them and pick up points. It's important when everybody else is playing for full fixtures tonight that you pick up, pick up a result, and we've done that. And what, what we're doing is we are cementing ourselves in and around that mid table and picking up points, as other sides are as well. And we're showing a little bit, I don't want to get carried away, we're showing a little bit of consistency now, which we weren't seeing six, seven weeks ago. And like we've seen, the league's up and down. So, you know, Teams can beat anybody, top can beat bottom, you know, third can beat 17th. It's just, there's no pattern to it. But what we're starting to do is put a run of results together. I think that's four wins, a draw, and a defeat in the last six. So, you know, points tally, it's, it's, it's good. Um, and we've got to keep, 
you know, keep doing that, keep putting points on the board and stay with that that top ten, which is, you know, which whatever develops after Christmas and beyond, we'll see. But you just want to be improving on what we did last year and staying and around that top ten, which um, which will be a massive improvement. For us. And we've stopped leaking the big goals, haven't we? You know, September there was a couple of fours and a, a five in there. You know, it's. Yeah. You know, We've we've sort of stopped leaking that, and we've just had two clean sheets on the bounce now. Which yeah, well I think which is, you know I think it's for there, there for everybody to see the change of shapes help that, yeah. you know, um, and that makes it a little bit more robust. Which I think you've got to be our man away. You know, the league's that tough. There's that many good sides. You can get opened up at will if you're not right. And I think the change of shape the last four four or five games has really helped. Yeah. And uh, looking forward now to. Another tough one on Saturday, long trip to, yeah. to Whitby. Yeah, big trip, uh, early start, you know, um, training session Thursday, and, you know, we've got to go and try and get something at Whitby, get in and out of there, you know, and, and try and get some points and um, see where that puts us. Um, but again, they come thick and fast, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. We've got midweek games coming up because of the games in hand, so uh, got to u- utilise a squad. Keep everybody on the toes and make sure that when, when players are called upon, they give everything they can. So we miss it, still missing Batch. Yeah, third, Batch, third batch will miss Whitby, but back for Tuesday night against Sutton. And Masayo will miss uh, Tuesday night. That's his fifth booking, <laughs> which is disappointing. <laughs> but he'll be all right for Whitby, but we'll, we'll miss him for Tuesday night's yeah, game. Yeah. But, um, I think he's had a bit of big effect on you know, our forward play. That obviously, Saturday scored two and looked to threaten tonight. You know, he could have had a couple of goals and to run for. So. And Levi's obviously still out. I think. Yeah, he'll, he'll train Thursday. He's had appendicitis yeah. in operation, so he's had to have a, you know, uh, non-contact for a couple of weeks. But I think he's training Thursday. Um, Kai Davis, tight hamstring. He'll be back involved Thursday training. So we'll have a, you know, a full complement to uh, to pick from. Hopefully, uh, going up to Whitby. Okay, thanks very much. No worries. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers.